So, I just joined the fucking dark side. I got a commercial printer now. Not much I could upgrade with this till the end of April. I could do the little LEDs that were available on their website, but the camera's out of stock, which is what I really wanted. And I can't just get a USB or a Raspberry Pi can to shove in there. If I'm waiting for an upgrade, I'm probably gonna have to wait for parts too. So let's hope I don't break anything that's out of stock. All this experience modifying 3D printers and building my own, it doesn't really matter because it's like this thing came off an alien ship or like an Apple product. Maybe Apple's ran by aliens. But how does the P1P print? Why are you complaining? Do you like it? Well, besides it having to bed level and calibrate every single print, and this is not a quick process, this takes like 10 minutes. I freaking love this thing! It's not fast, it's scary fast, but I wouldn't let a toddler in the same room as this thing. Look at that dingo! And listen to that great noise. Oh, I miss that noise. It was getting a little too quiet in here with all these silent printers. Now, despite it being very loud and scary, I do think it is a very great plug-and-play prototyping printer. And if I take out the bed leveling and calibration process, it could almost be as fast as my V0, except this has less ringing issues. And I will always be able to find parts for this for a very low price because I built it from scratch. I know everything that goes into it. Just like my Ender 3, which is what I am printing parts for. And I know I'm comparing it to the V-Mini, but I could very well build a 350 Voron with the same price I spent on this. But I didn't buy a Voron kit. I got too much stuff going on right now. I want to focus on my CAD and prototype. And most of all, multi-material printing. Yes, I have the AMS unit on the way for this guy. My plan originally was to add a rabid carrot feeder to this for around $200, but I'm just a little tired of working on Clipper. Now, if you like working on your Ender 3 and upgrading and all this other stuff, go the route, go Voron, learn Clipper. You're gonna be able to build a printer just like this, but with full control. It's a lot of work, but you're gonna learn a ton about 3D printing. I can't fully recommend this printer yet. We're gonna be testing it out, but so far it's a great machine. It performs well. It tells me when things are wrong through a phone app. Just a whole bunch of stuff that is similar to mainsail, which is what I like to run a lot of my printers on.